I took time, I took time today and got this Easter shirt. <laughs> I said it's my birthday celebration, Easter and St. Patrick's Day. This shirt is appropriate for all of that. So I don't give a fuck how motherfuckers felt I'm talking about. I don't know how to dress. I know how to motherfucking dress. Hot sauce. I made sure that none of these other comics fuck you. <laughs> Say he's with me. Leave him alone. I'll touch him. If does you like, if does like, man, just let me finger fuck. I'm like, no. Do not be finger fucking him. On my watch. He's in St. Louis. I got people down there in St. Louis. They like him. They may might they might not be his real teeth, but they like him. <laughs> Samo, you the only motherfucker that I know, nigga I fuck with that got a mohawk and micro at the same time. <laughs> this nigga that puts peroxide on the tips. So I'm gonna kill these bitches with these peroxide tips. <laughs> No doubt. He the only barber I know that arch niggas eyebrows and be looking them in the eyes. You like that? 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 Fuck out of here. I believe you did. AC, nigga, I love you, nigga. Let me spend the space on y'all while AC. I'm not finna tell a joke by AC talking about AC. AC is the only motherfucker in history that got me. High off of weed cooking. Now let me tell you something. I'm a fat nigga, he a fat nigga. He let me get in his car, he got a whole big Ziploc bag of chocolate chip cookies. And I done came down to motherfucking Memphis. I said, I'm finna fuck with my boy. I said, oh, he got some snacks. Now I'm in the car, AC. Ain't in the car cause he trying to get Oscar. We finna go out on Bill Street. I never had been to Bill Street. I wanna know what the fuck the fascination was. So I get in the car. They leave me in the car while they running their motherfucking map with a whole Ziploc bag of chocolate chip motherfucking cookie. I take the cookie out. I eat the whole cookie. H.C. get in the car. I say, hey man, what the fuck is you doing? I said, nigga, eat the cookie. He gonna ask me the stupidest shit in the world. Nigga, did you eat the whole cookie? <laughs> A little grainy, but it was delicious. <laughs> then Oscar get the back. Oscar nigga, he ain't this yet, nigga. He said, nigga, that's a weed cooker. I said, nigga, I'm finna call my mama, nigga. <laughs> I ain't never had no weed my motherfucking life. Something finna happen. I call my mama. I said, mama, these niggas down here that killed me. <laughs> it's chocolate chip cookies. I done woke her ass up in the middle of the night. She don't give a fuck. My mama don't give a fuck about shit. The house can be burned out. If you wake up, fuck up, it's a problem. Tell me, fuck my right, number, fuck up, call my mama. Hold on. I said, I'm dying. I'm finna die. I said, I never had ate no motherfucking weed cook, so I didn't know. This shit take a whole motherfucking hour. Yeah. We done went on Bill Street. We done messed with bitches and shit. And then this nigga, uh, AC, he married, so he can't really be with no bitches, but it's extra bitches. And then Oscar don't give a fuck. Oscar take the pictures and videos with us with the bitches. AC sitting in the motherfucker trying to act still like he ain't there. <laughs> I said, nigga, what's wrong with you? Nigga, well, this nigga over here filming us. He know my wife put me out last time. He was all the Because he in Chicago and somebody took a picture with a motherfucker with a picture. This nigga don't know. We all kicking together. I don't know before this nigga leave. He even got put the fuck out. He put you out. Before you get back to where the fuck you live. I'm in the motherfucking restaurant, and then all of a sudden, that motherfucking weed shit kicked the fuck in. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me, but I'm a real nigga. I'm not finna be saying something wrong, and I don't know what's wrong until I know what the fuck is wrong. I started hearing a bomb. I thought it was a bomb in there, but nigga, we was in the restaurant, it was the timer on track. That shit sounded like a bomb in the movie. And I said, nigga, don't y'all hear the bomb is making the noise, nigga. They was like, what the fuck you talking about? I'm like, nothing. I 
look over to this nigga left of me. I'm having a whole conversation with this nigga. This nigga ain't saying nothing. So I realized I was in a restaurant and I'm talking to a motherfucking pizza, Louis Armstrong. <laughs> These niggas is looking at me, looking at the pizza, talking to the pizza. They ain't saying shit. They tell me, nigga, what the fuck is you doing? I'm having this conversation. He's like, why this nigga won't talk to me? They're like, nigga, this is a pizza. <laughs> So they said, come on outside and get some air because you lost your mind. My feet, my feet were heavy than a motherfucker. I didn't know what was wrong, so I'm talking to a mother, I'm talking low. But they like, nigga, why is you hollering? I'm like, nigga, I'm not hollering. And why is these bitches on Bill's feet face so strong? They like, nigga, we got to go. I was like, no, these bitches got to go with these daddy faces over here. This shit got me hollering, mother. I don't know what's wrong with me. I kept seeing a motherfucking lightning bug, and it wasn't really, I kept standing the motherfucker, but the lightning bug was across the street. <laughs> and these niggas steady laughing and shit. I don't know what the fuck happened. All I know we walked somewhere, and I woke up in this bitch house the next day, and I had a cover on me. <laughs> and on my side of the bed was two of her kids looking at me. <laughs> Little boy, don't talk about mama won't wake up, would you fix us some cereal? <laughs> right there, I said, nigga, how many strange niggas have fixed you cereal? <laughs> I was looking for my folks. I said, these niggas done left me in this bitch house. I don't even remember this bitch. And who the fuck's these kids? Why the fuck they want to fix me cereal? And then I realized I wanted some cereal too. <laughs> so I fixed some kids some cereal, I ate me some cereal. <laughs> Shit. Him dubs is the only motherfucker I know that got a motherfucker. A mullet. That's a white man mohawk shit. That nigga got motherfucking wrestler arms and a gym teacher body. It's my friend though. I love him. I love him. The nigga, the nigga, I wanted to kill the nigga. The nigga, he is the nigga for real. Because I was tired, he was tired. I said, nigga, pull over. We go sleep at the rest of the hilltop, nigga, that's gay. I was like, no, that's gay, nigga, if we sleep in the same seat, nigga. <laughs> I said, nigga, I'm tired. I see you was not. I'm driving, and this nigga was not. But then, I said, this nigga got CDL. He know how to drive a truck. This truck, fuck it. I get over in the motherfucking back seat. I doze off. I'm talking, you know how you doze? You feel yourself dope? All I heard, ah, poof, poof. I love my motherfucking pickup truck. I named my pickup truck after the first motherfucking woman I fell in love with, Joyce, because that's my mama's middle name. I was like, it's Joyce. And then Nikki, I hopped out the car. Nikki, you done fucked Joyce up. This nigga don't know I called my mom Joyce. He said, no, this is, I fucked the truck up. Ain't nobody get here. I said, nigga, that's the name of the truck. Then I see the motherfucking deer that he hit. Now the deer, he hit the deer, and my whole life plate. Up the dead ass. <laughs> the dead shit in all of the truck. Fuck me. So I go over there. And I'm finna get my motherfucking lights plate. Not motherfucking much lights plate. Cause he's Chicago. <laughs> I go over there. And let me tell y'all something. This certain shit I ain't never faced with. I ain't never in my life was faced with a deal. Never. Why? I don't have a reason to be with deal. <laughs> Nigga, the deal was laid down. Then the deal got up and spit around and shit and looked at me. And I realized. Deal was strong in the motherfucker. <laughs> I'm on the side of the truck. This pole right here. I was like, nigga, I'm really in a, in a fucked up situation. And I looked at the deal and I was like, is you okay? <laughs> I would really appreciate if I get my lights lit about you. Right now. <laughs> I fucking did ran around and ran up the hill. All I see was my lights playing wet. <laughs> I got to go back to the scene of the motherfucker crying, get a girl standing there doing this. <laughs> Nigga, you ever think about killing a motherfucker? But you really want to make an accident, nigga, whose car's going, no, 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 no. He's standing on the motherfucker, on the motherfucker, uh, uh, drive side by the light. A little bit of I said, if I push this <laughs> And I kind of stared back and I looked, I see the truck car. I said, do I really like this nigga? But I realized then I had good insurance. I said, man, get your ass in this motherfucker truck, man. This nigga made me mad. But we both woke all the way back to Chicago. I then had to die and shit on the top of my truck and run up this hill with the lights blade on my ass for us to be woke. 
Talk about somebody in the Fuck out of here. How the hell you was, motherfucker? How you wanted me to tell you motherfucking weed that was laced up already? <laughs> you don't want to tell that. He said, that's how, that's how we do it in the game. That's how we do it. We do the lace up. That's what we do. I know how y'all do it in the shop. We lace them up. We smoke them up. We roll them up. And we keep up. Nigga, what? I'm not doing all that shit. So I bet it's out here. Oscar, you my motherfucking man, you the nigga I know you. Get Oscar and AC Real Talk is the first nigga that brought me and keep me coming down to Memphis. That that community, that, that, that going all over the country shit is what comics need to get their name out there. Oscar and AC and Rock. But Oscar has a comedy show. Um, now let me explain something to you. He got a comedy show, a pool hall. <laughs> it's a nice pool hall. It's a pool hall. They have a, a section over there where they have like you know how bowling night has a lounge, has a lounge in it. That's what he does the comedy show. I have been down there consecutively four times and I swear to God, the pool hall can pack. Oscar show has four people in it. Every fucking time I go there, two of the motherfuckers is comics. I said, nigga, where is the beef? The fuck you got one flyer? <laughs> But the nigga give me my money, he had my money, so I don't give a fuck. Now the time he had me go down there, we just fuck with somebody else, that nigga didn't have my money, because this nigga gonna tell me, well, you know, the colleges or the, the, the high schools had the football game. And everybody was that. And y'all gotta realize this. It's different in the country than it is in the city. You know, see me, I can have a football game. That don't mean that. Yeah, well, that's where you're from. You mix this country, bro. It's down south. Why the fuck you think they call it down south? What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't know where you live, sir? <laughs> this nigga two space so far apart look like his tongue in jail, nigga. <laughs> what I'm trying to explain to you is, them motherfuckers so country, you just say this. For instance, Simeon had a football game. All of us ain't going. <laughs> the motherfucker don't go, but dig it, it's like if Simeon had a football game in every club in Chicago, didn't have nobody in it because they was all at the football game. That's what the fact happened when I went down there. And I was like, man, I don't give a fuck about this country ass shit. I need my motherfucking money. Dude, for a sec, thought he was gonna be some tough shit. Man, I'm just saying. That's why I said, nigga, I came all the way down here on the motherfucking ground, nigga. I ain't have one of them neck pillars, nigga. I've been up all motherfucking night. I'm gonna need my motherfucking money. I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass. Nigga went in the back and discussed it with somebody else and gave me my motherfucking money. Next week, the next time, Oscar didn't have that room no more. Man, say he ain't want to fuck with Oscar no more. <laughs> Marlon Mitchell is. Been knowing Marlon Mitchell since I was like 12, 13. And it ain't shit a motherfucker can't tell me about Marlon. And it ain't shit a motherfucker can't tell him about me. It's one of my best friends in the world. I swear to God. He is the reason why I'm doing comedy. Straight up. He kept, no, don't clap, don't clap. Because I, I still would rather be selling drugs. I'm telling you. And these niggas play with you too much because you're a comedian. They think that you're going to be played with. They think this is a game. And I'm the wrong person. I, I came in the comedy game wrong. I didn't, I'm not apologizing for that. The nigga told me they was going to give me $150 to do a show. Cool. And when I got that, they had $50. I had to have $100. And, and I I don't think my phone bill was due at the time. I said, I need my money. He's like, well, I ain't got it. I whooped him and he had it. And niggas was like, man, you can't be what promoters. I said, promoters, promoters can't be playing with my motherfucking money. What the fuck is wrong with you? And then that's what goes on with comics. So said, well, a lot of comics fuck with me because they know I'm not going to be playing. And right like now, the level I'm at now, they you know, give me my motherfucking half of my money or whatever. It's different. But at first, I came to the game, niggas was playing. And all I knew coming from Alphacom was to whoop a motherfucker. And then I'll whoop a motherfucker in front of everybody. So when they asked what happened, he didn't have my money. And they were like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's understandable. They're like, it's not no he say, she say, he say nothing about me on my own Facebook. That nigga didn't have my money. And it's people here. Now, I mean, ain't no people in the place. They're like, man, I ain't really got your money. You still do show for the few people. Cool. Let's do it. Because I'm here. I want my name to be fucked up. Yeah. Then, how he was talking about the comedian, uh, Sean Morgan. I talked to him because he, 
You call me a bitch like four times. <laughs> and I think that was understandable. <laughs> you can't just be calling me. You can't call me a bitch, then I walk away and you follow me. <laughs> and then you say it in front of bitches. Because <laughs> women told me, who you call him a bitch? <laughs> Next time they see me, they see me, I'm them dude, I don't know his name, but I'm not nothing calling them a bitch. No. They don't remember this shit, I'm going to get that out of their head when you whoop with, let me tell you something, when a grown man choke another grown man, that shocks people. Because niggas used to choke bitches, they ain't used to choke niggas. When you try to choke a nigga, he trying to grab for your arm from the stop. Then he start blinking and then another comment come over and go whisper in my ear, <laughs> That's how that happened. And I'm not trying to make the nigga the butt of jokes, but I, my name was fucked up when I first came in because I was, I was, I was, I did what I knew. I did, I, either I'm gonna crack jokes or it's gonna be violent because we got my money. And, but he was the only person that, that called it this like that. And it was cool because it never happened again. But <laughs> Marlon talks a lot of shit. Yeah. It's, a lot of funny yeah. shit. it's hilarious. Niggas are, but Marlon really ain't shit. <laughs> Marlon is the worst person in the world when it comes to time. I'm so surprised that he got here today. They got, he's the only comedian that will tell you the show is at 8 o'clock and it will start at 11. And then he will make you feel not bad because he started late. Oh, baby. <laughs> you be like that, baby. It's me. Fuck you, man. Stupid motherfucker. Marlon is, but Marlon, Marlon's mother, Francis was alive, rest of, rest of me. She, she, I always say she was my woman. And Marlon always be talking about, my mama is his woman. Now, that's how friendships is if you've been with my brother. But I be telling Marlon, I be saying, my mom is your woman in front of people that don't know how cool we is. Because they get the wrong misconception. And they say some shit, and I'm going to slap the shit out. And then somebody will say, you wrong. Put your hands on that. No, I'm not. That nigga was playing with my mom. I'm not the nigga. You gotta be my friend. Let's talk about my motherfucking mom. You gotta be, you see that lady over the raise hand? Marty, Marty, that's Marty. One year older than me. I will shoot this motherfucker. <laughs> I was in the seventh grade. Some motherfuckers said they some motherfuckers said they was gonna jump on. I I, I left ground school and went up to the ground school to fuck them niggas. <laughs> My mama found out because I was thinking, you know, I didn't even put that teacher's car. He was in the class today. He, he left for lunch and we didn't see him again. My mama finna beat the fuck out of me. Brenda, that motherfucker, that was a super duper ass for But hold on, just for me. Oh, this is my sister. She, she whooped her a little. I have a brother. I don't think she ever touched this motherfucker. I, I have a, a jealousy of my little brother. She probably did once. She, didn't really, she never fucked nobody up like she fucked me up. Let me tell you something. I would never be musty in y'all presence. Let me tell you what happened. Fuck the joke. Let me tell you what happened. Was that my auntie house? Her auntie, Tina. I'm playing. She got some. We playing. We bullshit. I come home. Now, I don't know the conversation, but I heard it. I <laughs> took Tina call. Mama on the phone, hey, what's going on? Uh-uh, for real? <laughs> uh, hmm. All right, okay, I'm gonna talk to you. Yeah, we good, okay. Hold up, I don't know what the fuck you was talking about. I said, you know, my mama walk out the room. I'm chill. She come back in and say, Get naked. <laughs> I said, what she said, the clothes for that. I said, what is she talking about? I see her with two motherfucking belts. <laughs> While you got two, I'm only one motherfucker. She put the belts together and whooped me for 45 minutes. Let me tell you something. The first 30, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I didn't know why she wasn't saying that. She was just swinging. She said, if you ever Musty. <laughs> your nasty ass. I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker, embarrassing me. I did my man, I said, I was the one that was musty. <laughs> you weren't even fucking there. <laughs> Beat me like a slave because I perspired a little more. 
Ever since then, I take two, three baths, I don't be fucking around. Let me tell you something. I was so well, and the water went off. I went the fuck off. <laughs> Bitch, how the fuck we in here? I can't take a, I gotta go. I can't take a man. <laughs> Bitch. My underarms, if I feel like I'm finna be busted, they start tingling. It's time to go. I got the order in my motherfucking glove compartment right now, because just in case I forget to put it the fuck on, I put extra on. I'd rather be more smelling good than it. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck that. But uh, life is a beautiful thing. You say what? You say what? What's your it's my cousin, Michelle. She used to just like Rudy. You know, for the Cosby Show. You know, Rudy was little and cute. Now she looked like Ruth Ann. And I'll give, and, and I'll appreciate, uh, what the fuck am I? I'll appreciate you talking about my motherfucking uh, uncle. Oh, no. Motherfucker. Oh, he can talk about that motherfucker. That ain't shit. That ain't shit. He can talk about that. He be talking about my motherfucking uncle Glenn. That man is a certified serial killer. Don't fuck with him. Don't fuck with him. Look at him. Look at him. That's that motherfucker that you see. That I swear to God, y'all. We need to kill the whole house with him. They be like, he was such a nice person. He talked to everybody. He walked his dog. He spoke. You know, like, Keep on fucking around, boy. Your ass gonna be on the news. I'm like, what happened to Marlon? I don't know. I'm fucking my uncle Glenn that got with that ass. Chopped him up, Mason. <laughs> Some turkey ass stew. <laughs> I ain't better be up there too long. We we, we gonna hang out. I got y'all give it up for my DJ DJ Dan Turner. I nigga Mama said we went to grammar school. We went to high school together, and nigga, that nigga was one of my uh my little brother who passed best friends. That nigga always been my nigga. Um, a couple people I got to shout out in the house. Real talk. Uh, motherfucker Mike said somebody Katie. The nigga KD, raise your hand, motherfucker. Yeah, raise your hand, motherfucker. That nigga right there, let me tell y'all something. That nigga is, truthfully, single-handedly, the reason why I'm able to do a lot of shit. I, I did not want to come back to Chicago. I couldn't tell y'all, because everybody keep back. I came back for child support, okay? <laughs> Them bitches. Them bitches. The devil. <laughs> I had a good job in motherfucking Atlanta. I had a good job. Now, I ain't, I ain't never had too many motherfucking jobs, and then I ain't got that motherfucking, uh, what you call that, uh, when your money come from your bank to me. Yeah, I had direct deposit. I had the direct deposit, and I was getting like seven sixty a week. Cool, doing my comedy show, all that. One day, my man called me, say, man, we finna go fishing down here, man, you wanna go fishing? I said, fuck it, I gotta, you know, I'm, finna, I'm finna check my bank account and give me a pole, I ain't had no pole. You know? <laughs> every week I said it was 76. I looked this day, it was 130. <laughs> I just ain't got this motherfucking apartment and everything. I said, oh, they, I said, oh, okay, so I didn't know. I said, they, I, I called my man, but I said, I gotta wait because they, they, they still low in my money. <laughs> He said, I, I called that nigga, the nigga hung up. He said, uh, uh, he called me and said, nigga, uh, loan your money. Uh, that's it, nigga. I said, no, nah, that can't be it, nigga. They, they, they got to loan some more. Nigga. I was on the phone for four hours and failed out and realized the child support hit, hit a nigga hard. I had to come back here and find me some lawyers to get my shit in order. And I swear to God, I ain't want, there's a lot of shit I didn't want to do. Because I was like, I'm going to get back out of here. I'm going to go fuck this. Nigga KD said, no, nah, nigga. I'm finna get you an order. We finna get you an order. And everything that I've been able to push myself to do, please, that's nigga right there, is always saying that. Voice of reason, cussing me out, all type of shit. My mama love that nigga. My mama like, you had to hold you with fuck that I'm like, man, fuck that nigga, mom. <coughs> but uh, my old landlord back there, Joan Buck, stacking bastard. That's hot, man. Love that nigga to us. You gotta, you gotta have, what I'm trying to tell, you gotta have a lot of real people on your team to keep pushing. Cause if you don't have the motherfuckers, you're gonna fall to the wayside. You're gonna fall to the wayside. So honestly, it's a lot of them niggas, but they'll, they'll be like, yeah, honestly, yeah, they, they, they ain't that type of nigga. But Marlon is, yeah, it's Lord Jay, nigga, that's all that is. I love you, man. I love you. Nigga, I, whatever I'm gonna do, I bet you all my teeth is together. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. You the only nigga on the panel that can smile and whistle 
I'm saying my fucking time. Yeah, and spit you. And them does, where is she going? Don't leave with them pants. You got leggings on up under there. That nigga got some biker shorts on. You got some spikes on. Hey, but we, we gonna we go party, we gonna kick it off. Let the motherfucker be loud. I got the mugs back there. Buy the mugs. I want the mugs. My mugs are only ten dollars. Ain't nothing. Fuck them cookies, nigga. Oh, you got real, real cookies. Okay. I thought he had them weed cookies back there. And he walked down Western naked. Fuck that. But my mugs is ten dollars. I also give it up for my assistant, one of my my right hand, my girl Tweety, right here. She always keeps sitting. Tweety done lost weight. She had she had this and she had. Lost the weight, now her face catching up with it. And then she had the same old fat face with the new body. And now she got, okay, she good. Okay. But hey, my name is Ball here. I got a lot of love for y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. We for the ticket, we for the hang out. Give it back up to my man Molly. We gonna take pictures in the chair if y'all wanna take pictures. DJ Dan Taylor, give it up, bro. Hey, 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 Y'all give it up. Y'all give it up for all the comedians you've seen on this panel tonight. Give it up for the DJ. Give it up for the owner of this place. Give it up for Ballhead's mom and family being here. This nigga got him looking like Airy Spears on this motherfucker. That is not you, motherfucker. Nigga got you skinny on this motherfucker. Y'all give a round of applause for my brother Vic back there. Vic did this paint for me, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you a lot, man. Ah, damn. That is nice, man. That's nice. That's real nice. I'm joking, man. That's nice. Hey, my family, man. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, let's take this picture. I want y'all to do me a favor, man, for real. Can y'all please give him another round of applause for being able to promote his own event?